Okay, here's the answer to today's news quiz. Where did the bookstore Newspeak get its name from? Well, the store is named after the government-sanctioned condensed language in George Orwell's book, the futuristic classic 1984. And Newspeak has been around for less than a year in downtown Providence, but despite its small size, it's attracting a lot of attention. And Vernon Shaw is on the scene at Newspeak to show us around a little bit. Vernon? Pam, we're here at 43 Richmond Street at a unique bookstore. Now, granted, this bookstore, like most, has many books and magazines, but these are not these are unique type of magazines and books that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So if you're looking for time in Newsweek, this isn't the place to be. It's called Newspeak, and it's unique in many ways. Earlier today, we talked to some people and found out a little bit more about this unique store. These aren't your typical afternoon coffee drinkers, and chances are the political monopoly game they're playing, which pits socialists against capitalists, isn't a game you'd find on any department store shelf. But being different is what the Newspeak bookstore is all about. We have uh, over 200 magazine titles, uh, alternative press, um, nothing mainstream. Um, we go from anywhere from the John Birch Society magazine, New American, to um, uh, alternative or underground uh, comics. Um, many different titles. Uh. Like her 15th century namesake, Jones says she is on a quest of her own. Newspeak is dedicated to freedom of speech and expression. It also offers the perfect setting for publishers to display and sell local literature. A lot of people in the beginning would come in and think that we were a left-wing bookstore, Marxist, maybe socialist, and then they would have a look around and find that that wasn't the case. We are trying to actually get rid of the idea that the left-right spectrum is even a functional way of thinking. We have something for everyone here, tattoo magazines, uh, underground comics, like I said, and we try to cater to all, all people, all walks of life, uh, even lawyers who work downtown, secretaries uh, on their lunch break come in, so it's, it's well-rounded. Along with the many books and magazines to choose from, the bookstore also gives customers the option of signing up with its free audio cassette exchange program or its movie rental club always attracted to like the weirdest and wildest films and always thought about having my own uh, video store uh, that just collected these and um, so I'm running the gambit from foreign art films to like the weirdest uh, you know exploitation films uh, just trying to get a fine line between the art and trash we don't want to be censored we try not to censor ourselves or each other or anyone else. We're afraid uh, that religious fanatics will take away free press and we want to work to hold on to it. Hey Pam, owners say they just barely scratch the surface when it comes to all the literature that's available. And along with all the literature, they have also games here they play and they also have some great cups of coffee. Oh sure, you had to remind me that I could use one. Thanks Vernon, we'll check back with you in a little while. But time now for our school lunch roll call coming to you from Fairhaven.